This video is brought to you by Keeps. Stick around to hear more about the discount they are providing to the entire Upper Echelon community. Okay, recently I've been on a bit of a crypto scam arc, if you will, with a lot of videos about things like crypto land or the $3 million catastrophe where a crypto investment group decided that buying a book at 100 times its actual value would somehow give them a legal claim to the entire story's copyright. Basically, I've been talking about the dumbest people in the industry who are doing stupid things for stupid reasons. Today, though, I want to do things a bit differently. Today, I want to discuss an incredibly sophisticated crypto scam. A crypto scam that works, a scam being executed every single day, and a scam that is incredibly harmful both financially and psychologically. I'm talking about Shazupan, also known as the Pig Butcher, or crypto romance scam to some. And I'm doing this because there has been a staggering rise in the number of victims, so much so that the FBI even issued a formal warning in late 2021, stating that there has been a dramatic increase in the activity of these criminals who are posing as lovers and stealing your savings. Focusing in on a much more precise example, a man from the UK was very recently robbed of nearly $300,000, which was basically all his life savings. This left him broken, not just from a financial perspective, but from an emotional standpoint as well. And there's no possible way for me to recover what was stolen, but prevention is the first line of defense. So if my discussion here today of this topic can prevent even one person from falling prey, it will have been more than worth the time spent. Sha Pan, in English, the pig butchering scam, is primarily an Asian phenomenon. That is, it was until the syndicates began to move elsewhere. The function of Shazu Pan is actually pretty straightforward, but also incredibly sophisticated. Criminals will pose as a young, attractive male or female and populate various dating applications around the globe. Using fake photos or sometimes even real photos that have been carefully taken, photoshopped, and adjusted for maximum appeal, also so you can't reverse image search them and find out that they're fake, they will quickly garner attention from interested speculative partners. Once this happens, they begin the fattening process. This is meticulous and carefully planned. Shazupan syndicates, the crime syndicates, have detailed scripts and profiles for nearly every single demographic imaginable, and I'm not kidding about this. If you are a college student, they have a detailed profile and a meticulously crafted methodology on how to manipulate you. If you're a single mother, same thing. You can be middle class, upper class, black, white, man, woman, anything, they have a script for it, and those scripts are more like 80 to 100 page training manuals. After a Chinese law enforcement raid in 2021, I think it was, some of these scripts were actually leaked, and the contents are honestly shocking. Descriptive segments will dictate various tactics like how to avoid video chats, how to identify with childhood trauma, and how to exert psychological pressure that in turn forces a victim towards a certain financial outcome. Scammers are equipped with a library of local pictures aimed at whatever target area they are pretending to be in. They are trained on the social customs and norms for that country or region, and they will be briefed on everything from celebrity gossip to pop culture, TV shows, and movies, because the scam becomes exponentially more powerful based on how well they cultivate a romantic attachment. Here's an example of how detailed the manuals actually are. Quote, Send two pictures of luxury bags or jewelry to the guest and ask the guest to help choose one, hinting to the guest that one has recently made a considerable amount of extra income and wants to buy a gift for family. Choose two tourist attractions to go to and let the customer choose one to imply to the guest that you have recently made some impressive profits from the sideline and want to reward oneself. Send high-end restaurants to comment on their expensive and unpalatable meals. Better off to stabilize the side income first, or it's too wasteful." End quote. These tactics are used with dozens of additional pages and profiles on every conceivable type of person to push the victim into a state of financial vulnerability, which then allows for the extraction to begin. 
All right, time for me to pay the bills because YouTube is currently not on the let's give upper echelon quality advertisements train. 96% of the people watching this video are men between the age of 18 and 45. 80% of men experience hair loss, and a significant amount of them even before the age of 35. Effectively, all of you watching this make me the perfect channel for a hair loss prevention ad, so here you go. Keeps can prevent hair loss, and they have partnered with the channel for a massive discount. It can be delivered right to your home, no doctor's visit required, and the link down below, keeps.com slash UEG, will save you 50% on your first purchase. Some men will even experience hair growth while using Keeps, not just loss prevention. They also have more five-star reviews than any competing product I could find, so again, 50% off your first purchase using the link down below. That's keeps.com slash UEG, 50% off first purchase. Big thank you to them for sponsoring the channel. So what is extraction? Extraction is the process where a scammer will execute the predetermined plan and capitalize on the trust that they previously built. Keep in mind, this trust has been developed over the span of months, with more often than not daily communication. Good morning, good night, just checking in, etc., etc. The way that they do this, however, is where we get to cryptocurrency because it's now easier than ever before to extract untraceable and significant sums of money. The average amount that is scammed from a Shah Zupan victim is between $25,000 and $50,000 per person. To explain how this process happens, thankfully, I found an actual example. This is Hilsu. Hilsu is one of many crypto trading apps on the market, but this one is fake. Hilsu is actually a disguised APK file that circumvents the Apple or Android store, it's not on those platforms, and instead installs a dummy exchange with fake financials. The reason for this is pretty simple. After convincing a victim that they are on the cusp of an incredible financial opportunity, leveraging the trust that took months and months to build, they convince their prey to begin depositing funds. These funds are actually going to an individual wallet never to be seen again, but on the dummy exchange, they make it seem like you're actually gaining something. This is typically done by offering a fake ICO, initial coin offering, because that way they can take your money and make it explode with huge percentage gains without having to worry about you checking the actual price elsewhere and seeing a problem. Then they will begin to push for more and more and more. There are a multitude of tricks to make this happen, like requiring some sort of withdrawal fee, but that fee has to be deposited, more money has to be deposited to pay it, because it can't be paid with your existing balance. And they will pressure you until either one of two things happens. A, you run out of money, or B, you start to push back too much and they decide to cut ties. That is when the butchering takes place. Your app will show a zero balance or just deactivate, they will go dark and you will be cut off having lost everything you put in with a romantic partner who was nothing more than a trained operative and for some people they are completely ruined. Now, a common response that I hear is, well, don't fall for it. Obviously, this was a scam. And for some of us, yes, this is pretty obvious. But having done extensive research on Hilsu, I want to outline why it's actually not that easy to tell sometimes. Hilsu is a generic looking crypto exchange website, which obviously downloads a false application. And it has various red flags, like a complete lack of any sort of browser login feature. I created dummy accounts and used a virtual machine to look into all of this, by the way. But it also has articles on Yahoo Finance, which corroborate its authenticity. This is an article on Yahoo about Hilsu debuting as a public crypto exchange in the United States. Well, this article is written by Leonard M. And Leonard M. also has some more articles on Yahoo and elsewhere. Chaintify and Chain Chainlity are both prior versions of the Shah Zupan scheme, but those two are just now deactivated. Fragments of their online presence remain, of course, but the sites were pulled down in a routine cleanse where the organization migrates as an effort to avoid attracting too much attention. These Yahoo Finance articles allow for some people to be tricked on a surface level because that kind of publicity is all they require to trust the platform. As an example, here is a forum discussion about Hilsu and the fact that someone was actually scammed by it, where a response quite literally links the Yahoo article and states that it doesn't appear to be an automatic scam which is exactly what the criminals want. Backtracing this press release, we find a company called Newsfile. And Newsfile is a legitimate business, but their platform is being used to create false positive proof that a scam is actually trustworthy. While making this video, I emailed Newsfile and asked if they are aware what these articles really are. I didn't get a response, but I'm hoping that they remove them and take better care not to allow such postings in the future. Basically, don't amplify this kind of stuff because you're making it seem more credible, and that's not okay. As for Hilsu and Chainlity as well, I was able to find the wallet addresses in a Reddit post from someone who had been successfully scammed, and when trying to trace the funds, I went from those to a more centralized wallet. From that I found even more active scammer wallets, but eventually it all gets routed through big name exchanges, and I lost the trail. 
What I did find is that Hillsu is active. It is scamming thousands of dollars and moving money as of just two and a half weeks ago. So in terms of a proper example, Hillsu is one active tendril of the very real, very large Shazupan monster. Here's a couple more examples. Hue, Hue, H-J-U-A-E, and Wallet Put. These two websites are the same thing. They are just two different names and addresses to diversify avenues and avoid the congestion of relying on one scam exchange, which might get shut down leading to a lapse in productivity. Speaking of productivity, we arrive at the real scary part. Shazupan isn't perpetrated by someone alone in a basement preying on your emotions out of personal greed. It's a business model. The scripts are updated every year to include contemporary hooks, political information, and pop culture. There are corporate offices, different branches, official work hours, and many of the people forced to work at these institutions are desperate themselves. They are targeted and then controlled, ending up as a cog in the machine who must target and manipulate desperate lovers for profit. The worrisome part of this is that Shazupan is widely recognized and targeted in Asia, targeted by law enforcement and other agencies, that is. But it's only just beginning to gain attention in Western culture. Having been forced out of mainland China, for the most part, these businesses seem to operate primarily out of Singapore. During my investigation of Hillsu, I created a fake identity named John Doe, and when signing up for their platform, I got a verification email. Extracting the header data and the IP address from this email, it gave me a location in Singapore. And while I couldn't get much further than that, like I couldn't find the actual organization or do anything meaningful, it still seemed like an interesting bit to include. As the reputation of this scheme nears critical mass in Asia, Western populations begin to look much more appealing to them. What we are seeing right now, facilitated by cryptocurrency and the anonymity of decentralized finance, or DeFi, is an explosion in this type of scam all across the world. Shazupan companies are able to buy millions of fake profiles and infest the app dating ecosystem completely. This is possible, most likely, because Match Group, the largest dating application company in the world, I think it is, has a cross-platform data sharing policy which lets Tinder, for example, share user profiles with OkCupid. Well, when there are dozens of these companies and each one of those has its own data sharing and third-party agreements in place, these profiles eventually get out into the wider world and can be purchased in bulk from criminal data brokers, eventually winding up in the hands of a Shazupan office. Basically, if you have ever used a dating app, app or website or whatever it is, and if you're attractive, it's entirely possible that your profile is actually out there on other sites right now being used to trick someone into losing their life savings. In the past, these schemes had to resort to clever techniques in order to mimic established financial institutions. They would need to impersonate Wells Fargo or Bank of America in order to be truly convincing in Western markets. But now, with cryptocurrency being what it is, they can just make something like Hillsu and streamline their entire business model with efficiency and relative security, that is, security for the scammers. With cryptocurrency, your bank can't help you, transactions can't be reversed, and there is no recourse whatsoever, which offers its own set of benefits in a wider financial landscape, right? Like, I'm not saying that crypto is bad in totality, but in the land of scams and fraud, it's a horrible thing that is only going to facilitate further and massive losses for vulnerable people. Everyone thinks it can't possibly happen to them, but these criminals are sophisticated, intelligent, and ruthless. They adjust their tactics, they refine their methods, and they do all of it to trick you into trusting them, even using the power of romantic interest to achieve that end, which can have lasting psychological impact on someone's health. If you made it this far in the video, always be aware, always be skeptical, and be extremely careful when dabbling in the world of online dating because people are very often not who they say they are. I wish I could have found more and possibly taken down Hillsu, at least that one, completely. I'm fairly confident that the companies I emailed about their false articles may take action, but for now it remains active, till some sort of agency shuts it down. But yeah, be aware of Shazupan, the pig butchering scheme. Be aware that it is rising in popularity massively among Western nations because the native market for it has been largely suppressed by law enforcement and cultural awareness has risen to a point where its efficacy is decreasing in Asia, but everywhere else, it's on the rise. Don't get fooled. One trick you can do before I end here to avoid this happening is always, every time you're about to send money anywhere online, check if the website is on this list right here. It's long and it's updated constantly. It might not be a perfect tool, as in it might not have every single scam website out there, but it's got a lot of them and it can save you from a really terrible situation if used properly. Anyways, that's it. If you want to support, there are links down below. I'm trying to use Patreon and Locals to fund the channel instead of ad revenue right now, so consider those if you want to. 
There's a YouTube platform alternative called Odyssey, where my whole content library is. There's Keeps, the video sponsor, click that link as well. There's another creator to check out. There's merch, social media, etc., etc. but I'll cut it there and stop rambling. As always, thank you all for watching and have a nice night.